Okay, hi everyone. This is our October 17th um, race meeting. We have a couple of items on the agenda. The first is to discuss our um, community gathering at the Avenue for November 2nd. And then for us to just revisit the 20 recommendations from um, the task force on racism and some of the recommendations that we have also put out during 2022 and 2021 and 2022. So um, first for everyone awareness, we're gonna have a community gathering at the Avenue on November 2nd. Um, Libby, what time did we say? Six o'clock? I think we said 5.30 because they have okay. a happy hour. That oh yeah, that's right. Until seven, right, Merrily? It's from five to seven, their happy hour. And so if we started at 5.30, uh, give people a chance to at least take advantage of a bit of, it, of that um, before they go home maybe and actually have dinner. Okay. So it'll be 5.30 to 7. We hope you all on the community can attend. We're going to have some appetizers and then it'll just be a cash bar. Um, should, aside from us posting on the, three, um, the ANC website, Chevy Chase, like Facebook and the listserv, do we think we should put out, put up, do you guys think we should put up any flyers at the library or invite any other community organizations to join us? I definitely think we should uh, invite uh, Chevy Chase Voice and Chevy Chase Civicus, whatever they're called now, CCCA. Also, uh, uh, Carl's group, Historic Society. I, I mean, the if uh, the concept here, if I remember correctly, you know, was our growth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. Okay. I mean, that's part of what we're supposed to. You know, one of our one of our uh, recommendations is to do partnerships with other groups. Okay, so we have the Chevy Chase Boys, Chevy Chase Community Association, and then Carl, you're on the. Is it the historical Chevy Chase? What are name? we being asked to do? Oh, just invite, um, mem just send, let them know that we're doing this community event and, and walk, encourage, invite them to come if they would like to come. It's more of just, um, just gathering, just to gather, you know, just like our first introduction of, um, a welcome to doing the community. Yeah, I think we should talk about the, the the kind of the the idea we want to present about the gathering, um, and and the name, um, because Marily, you're you're muted. Um, we talked about uh, making it just very welcoming and open. Mm -hmm. As opposed to having a set agenda for really anything to particularly accomplish during during the gathering, just just for people to meet and greet. Yeah, and race is just kind of sponsoring or hosting it. What does everybody think of that? I agree. I like the community meet and greet. Come meet, right? You know, and something about race, but. I like that as a top as a as a name. Community meet and greet. Community meet and greet hosted by race. Mm -hmm. Um, can we say hosted by the three G, four G, ANC, and race? Or no, I think that's too long. Okay. Why do you want to? Why particularly are you interested in having the ANC part? Because we're a part of the ANC, and hopefully the commissioners will come as well. That's true. I think one thing we might want to do is that whatever whatever text we we have describing the event at the very end, it's it you know we're really thinking about an email, uh, and a, at the very end there might be a you know two sentence three sentence description of of who Ray's is, mm -hmm. and and there we would say it's a committee of whatever the right language is it would say essentially we're committee of the ANC mm -hmm. yeah 
Well, I'm just I like that. that. Okay. That we can definitely make a point to invite the commissioners specifically. Yeah, okay, I, will, sure. I want to do that. <laughs> I, I, I think once we get the email written, we can then send it, you know, the same thing you post on the listserv you can, it can be an email that goes directly to the uh, commissioners. Yeah, okay. And so do we want to say the say by raise or by the raise committee? And we have to identify what raise means because some people don't know. The so raise yeah. committee? Yeah, the raise committee. And I'm good at yeah. either, either way. I think it would be the racial and social equity committee. We should we fun. should use whatever yeah. is on the eight three four G website that describes yeah. it yep. says who we are. Just have that language match whatever's on the the website three four G website. Okay. And then you can in parentheses you can like then call like raise and okay. then refer to it after that, but the full name should appear. Yeah. Do you guys? Okay. Think could use the word hosted because does that give the impression that we're going to pay for everything you guys are mm -hmm. uh, barely has gone <laughs> to really links to set this to uh find out about Help the organize we, 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 we should say or whatever we should say very clearly what is provided what isn't like if there's yeah, a yeah. discount for happy hours say you know discounted drinks and appetizers available um, you know, organized by or hosted by, it doesn't really matter. It just needs to, it should spell out, we shouldn't do a bait and switch like they're expecting yeah. free stuff. You should say cash bar. And I think we should say hosted by the raise committee, uh, cash bar and light, light cash bar and light refreshments provided. We're providing the refreshments. Okay, so I will um, start a draft. And then I'll send that out to you guys for you to revise and edit. Does that work? Sure. I mean, most people yeah. know what a cash bar is, right? They pay for Absolutely. their own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Marilee, we would like to contribute. Well, um, we'll deal with that. I mean, this is my, it's not a big deal for me. I can do the refreshments, but um, I, I do think it, it it's clear that it's a cash bar. And and that's something for, that it, the avenue can make some money on that. You know, it's a it's a yeah. yeah, yeah. And Jerry has been very Jerry. Um, oh. Ma, Ma, I'm sorry, Malitz. Oh, Malitz. Malitz. Been nice and help. He's been very um. He's been so helpful. Very proactive. Very supportive of race. I mean, a lot of this started when he um and I believe I was at Michael uh, Zeldin. He mentioned discussing. <clears throat> race um, education recommendations and wanted to know where we stood on those. And so he and I had an exchange and he, some emails. And then after that, you know, we, I talked, I told him that we were hoping to do outreach to the neighborhood and that we had been talking about this uh, gathering that Corinthia was hoping to have through the Avenue. And he was just really wonderful to help. Good. He's been back in touch with me saying, what else can I do to help? He got me in touch with Jessica Walsh, who's the manager, the uh, sister of Tim, who owns it. And then he said today, because I want to see this space. I haven't been up there. And he he said, any afternoon that you want to come over there, I'll meet you there. I can show it to you. You know, it's like, he's just, yeah, he's, he's, really he's nice. very helpful. Well, he will put it in the uh, newsletter that he sends out in the very beginning of November, mm -hmm. if we get a, a blurb. Yeah. Corinthia, what you're working on will be perfect. Um, and I also understand that Tim Walsh, the owner of the Avenue is really great about making the space available at no cost to people mm -hmm. in the community because he's really promoting, he wants to help with community. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that what would be nice is if this uh, goes well, then in the future it's also possible that we may want to we might might want to hold another one with maybe the idea of um, having a couple books on site that people could actually look at <laughs> and consider whether or not they want to do a a book discussion the next time. Um, there's a lot of other things that could be a springboard. 
Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to have at some point, maybe we could do a book discussion. I went to one not that long ago that a friend hosted um, and the author read excerpts from two of her books and there was a really good attendance um, you know from people that lived in this area and North Portals very diverse um, we might want to think about you know even doing something like that I think that would be great we could have a, a sign up sheet for anyone interested in possibly participating in a book group you know I don't uh -huh. have to sign their name and Could email or something Yep. Um, at this event, I mean, there's no agenda, and I think that the invite should probably make it really clear. We're not inviting you here to have a debate. We're not inviting you here to be lectured or anything. We're inviting you here to uh, uh, have some snacks and, and chat with your neighbors and get to know people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, so, you know, and even if we say it in as plain a language as that, I think it might uh, 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 be a good thing in the announcement. <laughs> uh, the other thing I would suggest is that, uh, you know, somebody, maybe our, co our illustrious co-chairs, uh, give, uh, a, you know, maybe a, like a three minute uh, uh, little, presentation of who, who we are and and what what are the kind of issues we're concerned about and also what kinds of things we see happening in the future along the lines of uh, of the you know uh, book talks or, or, or whatever <laughs> but you know uh, uh, just sort of let people know you know what we're concerned about mm -hmm. yeah yep. I agree okay. I think if we keep it to that, it's a really good idea and maybe do it somewhere in the middle when there most of the people would be there because it's going to be a stop in and leave kind of thing, I think, you know. Yeah. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Carly, do you know if there will be any music? Because I think that's nice sometimes. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't. I can ask that. Yeah. I, I think we should. I, think I, we I would should. object to that. Uh, and some of us can't hear. So, I mean, if you want me to participate. I have trouble with ambient noise. And if there's any no background noise, I can't hear what the person speaking to me right in front of me is saying. Yeah. And I, I'm probably not the only one who has that problem. Yeah. It comes with There'll age. be older folks there. So I think that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, hopefully there's going to be enough chatting that, you know, need music. I don't know. I don't, I haven't yeah, seen the careful. space. Have you guys been up there? <clears throat> I've never been there. I I haven't been to the upper level, but yeah. I eat there pretty regularly. Um, mm -hmm. I love I love the avenue. It's great. I mean, we're lucky. We got really great restaurants along along our avenue. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they have a great menu, great drinks, really nice, friendly staff. Um, every time we go in there, you know, Brandon recognizes someone he went to school with, so they hired local, which is great. Um, it's a, yeah, it's a great, definitely a great neighborhood friendly spot, but I haven't been to that, the upper level. But I will go and look at it like, but be that be, before the end of this week. So I'll, I'll let you know. And there is a little bar up there. They have a bar up there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Find me what the date is. I don't have the access to my event list right now. November second. Well, is that a Thursday? November yes. Second. Yes. And when is Jerry's newsletter? October thirty first. It's two days. Okay. Yeah. Yep. But it's a stop in thing, you know. I think. Yeah. I think but that will also be fresh in people's mind if they if they uh, open his newsletter. At least it won't be like a week later. Yeah. In case they would forget. And we, as soon as you get the email up or however you're going to do that, I can um, send that out on the ANC email list. So even though his will come out on like the 31st, we can get it posted and up as soon as, you know, we get the details signed up. Mm -hmm. okay. So people will, you know, people will have good notes. 
great. Um, yeah, and Jerry's. So it's I'm two weeks. I'm going to be out of the country again until uh, I'll get back on October 31st. So I will um, be in touch, Corinthia, with you, uh, though, before I leave. So we can okay. talk about uh, just some steps. Everybody, video frozen. Am I? Yeah, you're frozen. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> any more discussion on the avenue? I'm going to come back on. So, Corinthia, you're going to do a, a draft and yes. uh, share it with us about what goes. Yes. I think it's important how it how it is, you know, advertised. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'll do a draft. Um, I'll wait till Cal get back on. So I'm going to do a draft in the group and feel free to edit through there on whatever you think it needs to be changed. I won't be offended. I'll start a draft. It'll be a working draft. Um, you guys are welcome to um, update it. So I'll make sure to let Cal know. I won't put it in Word. Um, <laughs> but Can I'll you just Cal send it know. in an email? Can you just send that's, a text via email? That's first? what I'm going to do. Yeah. I, I said I'm not going to put it in Word. So when I send it in the email, feel free to just change it yeah so okay um i guess cal's jumping back on so the other item <clears throat> we i thought would be good for us to do is just kind of go back to our discussion on trying to look at the recommendations and just see what are some things that we can um <clears throat> do because i know we've been very um into the zoning committees, the survey committees, the, the housing um, aspects, and just want to go back through that document. So is it best if I just share my screen? Sure. Yes, and okay. I sent in the, in the email actually five uh, recommendations that were actually just education. Okay, so, so do you want to go through those? You want to do that instead of the initial Let's wait no, I think we probably should go over the whole thing and okay. um, and those five just are specific to education I I now remember. Okay. Um hey Cal, I just wanted to let you know that Marilee had just wanted me to confirm that I'm gonna send the draft language for our e for our email. I'm gonna send it to the group and I told the group just to update it with whatever language may be missing um, and it won't be in a Word document. So as it comes along, just update it. And if one other person sends a new version, just go from what email they sent. Okay. Right. Are you talking about for the uh, meet and greet? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The only problem I have with it is that by the time I do my edits, somebody's produced a new version and now the versions are unsynchronized, which is why I like to use the collaborative documents. Um, some point, Corinthia, maybe we can figure out why you can't get on the Google Docs, um, but not now. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, so we got like 36 more minutes, so I had wanted to move on. I had mentioned, Cal, that we had been involved in other committees like the survey, zoning, and housing, and I wanted to just have, bring up the, um, I'm going to bring up the document that we had with the 20 recommendations. So I only have uh, my laptop. So when I share my screen, I won't be able to see you guys, even though you can't see me because I don't come on video. But um, if you need to say anything or get my attention, just go ahead. Oh, oh, it still shows. It's different when I'm at work. You guys can see my screen, right? Yes. Do you guys see yourself on the screen? Yes. yes. Okay, I'm going to minimize that because I, I don't like that. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so that goes into the background document. Um, the first recommendation is done, right? Because they recommend that they establish our committee. So that's done. <clears throat> this is the second recommendation. This is for the racial response network. Yeah, we have 
that has not materialized. Okay, so that has not materialized. So the what they've asked us to do is to study it and develop an implementation plan for the commission to consider. Okay, um, I don't know if everyone has reviewed the document, but I guess we should kind of like determine what our priorities maybe should be. Like, do we think this yeah. is one of the first things we should like look into doing? Or I don't know if anyone would want about like has experience in this area and want to volunteer to do it or like this is a yes, no, maybe in priority order. So not maybe uh, yes, no. Maybe. As I recall, we we've talked about this but no one's really done any in-depth studying. Okay. I think we did research about whether or not this existed in, in other communities. And um, we found that it really is a new idea. Okay. And so we, right. don't, we don't have a lot in terms of a system to go on. I mean, I think our group has talked a lot about what can we do when we, if we learn of an incident or uh, you know, a situation, and then with the notion of being responsive, and we've talked about reaching out and following up with particular individuals, but in terms of an actual, uh, a more in-depth system, we haven't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are, are you looking for a uh, discussion about the idea now or, or what? Um, this prioritizing, right? What yeah, I think so. I think it's right. We need to prioritize because what we have in terms of the recommendations are things that we said we're going to do. And there are things that the ANC has agreed for us to do. Um, so I think what, you know, we need to do is pretty much what Corinthia says is out of the recommendations that we need to address which one or two are our top priorities to start work on immediately. Okay, so okay. yes. And I think how this probably would be easier is if we have like a one, two or three and the one is now, the two is um, soon and then the three is later. Cause I think once we have identified you know, what we want to tackle now, we can go through and tackle the now. And then once we finish the nows, we can go to the soon and then move on to the laters. Does well, that make sense? Yeah, it's a question of priorities. Okay. Well, I okay. think that I will, in the next two minutes, three, three minutes, create a spreadsheet so we can have those, we can track this stuff. Okay, and um, Libby is also taking notes and so am I. So for recommendation number two, I probably would vote for later because I feel like this is something that we're going to need to um, have more time to tackle. And, you know, I'm more of like this audit talk, but I like the low hanging fruit, the stuff that, you know, we can do faster and move on, check off the list and then spend more time on other things. What do you all think about that? I agree. Sure, it depends. That, uh, and there, are, there are ways we could probably tackle too. Um, if we're not very ambitious, uh -huh. just to have a presence. In other words, uh, if if we constituted something like a passive system, just to let people know that we're interested in hearing about concerns, uh, you know, incidents that might come up, uh, at least it gives people a place to channel their, you know, um, observations. So. Uh, from from it's not very ambitious, but at least it establishes a place to go to and something that we can track. Is this the type of thing that we could actually tell the community about at the gathering? Um, just in casual conversation, if people are asking us what kinds of things do you all do or want to do, I yeah, we can always be helpful to let people know that this is the kind of thing that if they hear of an incident um, or if they have themselves been in a situation, uh, that this is the kind of thing that, that we'd like to know. That's part of the informal 
process you're mentioning? I, th I think this is exactly the kind of thing. We, if we can figure out how to say this in a super uh, brief uh, uh, piece of what we say at our gathering, uh, to say that uh, this is one of the things that we want to work to put in place and uh, and ask also ask if anybody's interested in, in working on this sort of thing, uh, you know, let us know. Okay. Okay. I, I myself am a little hesitant about this one because we we thought when we first did it that it might raise some controversy. Um, you know, that people would start to say, "Well, wait a minute, are you going to have therapists and things like that?" You know, it's it's just I'm I'm a little bit concerned about having this um, letting this idea out too soon before we are really prepared. I mean, honestly, Cal, I think with this one, we kind of already did that. So when someone yeah, it's has, already <laughs> out. <laughs> when someone it's has already out. Yeah, when someone has like made comments about me like negatively and stereotypically about me, it wasn't yeah. a formal racial response, but there was a response to it. Um, yeah. There, yeah. So yeah. I think we right away. Kinda, yeah, we've kind of already yeah. done this. Um, not fully formally, but I think once we have our first community event and we have like commissioned ourselves out to the community, we can kind of move forward with this of where we have like, this is our email. This is like some, some um, where you can contact us. And even if it's from them talking with Lisa as the chair of the 3G, 4G commission about, hey, this happened to me in the community. And, you know, bringing it to us and we try and figure out how we can remedy that. So I think the situation with me was just more like, hey, that's not appropriate. And all these people in our city leadership saying it's not appropriate. Um, and then other people apologizing on that behalf. So um, yeah, I just think this one, we probably, we could, we just kind of got to just like refine it so um, refine how it is. But I think we can move more on it once we kind of commission ourselves of, of our outreach out to the community. So that's why I was just kind of like a more later on it. I think, yeah, so, I think we're, like, we're just saying this is this kind of thing is needed. We don't know exactly what it looks like yet. That's that's going to be part of what we're doing and, and what we're seeing if anybody wants to join us in doing it. I mean, we can... Right. Exactly. That uh, particular, in whatever happens, is situational. It really will depend on the type of uh, the, who 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 is telling us what, and it will really. You can't have a, a a standard response for each thing. So I think it does depend really on us being able to hear first, yeah, and then communicate yep lisa does this remind you of the time one of the commissioners um asked you about the raise committee responding to that incident at jackson reed um where yeah i mean that was not something that we should address um yes but yeah but something we should have addressed i mean like if this was to happen today i always think about this but when I remember seeing what happened at Lafayette in 2019 about the like the children um, Definitely. acting out of play, I feel like that would have been a situation yep. of where we would provide a response to like Lafayette leadership Definitely. and to the community. Absolutely. So um, yeah. I, I think that's this is kind of like a what's this an ongoing action. Once we develop a plan, we would just have. Okay. Like how we always do have a response, send it out mm -hmm. the end. So, okay. So um, number, recommendation two is like under development and consideration yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm writing. Okay. So um, we, I thought number three was done where we create the website and share information and resources. Right, Lisa, the ANC website with our 
and or um I don't know if the yeah I involved in this. I don't know if the intent was something standalone yeah. from the ANC. Yeah. No, I well, if it was, I could tell you that would be extremely difficult to maintain. Okay. <laughs> We're struggling to maintain the ANC website, but ACE, I mean, race has a dedicated page on the site. Yeah. Um, what we could probably do, this one definitely is a low-hanging fruit, Corinthia, because we could print off what the site currently looks like and maybe add resources um, under there because I think the majority of it is dedicated to our meetings, um, but we could definitely create within that page a resource section and whatever else we talk about. This one definitely, I think, is something that we could probably start immediately um, and, you know, probably make some pretty quick changes. Okay. So with that, can I task everybody to think about <clears throat> some resources that we can add to that? So one of the resources I think we probably could add is I know since I'm there now because of Cairo, um, the Lafayette has a, the Lafayette has a DEIA um committee at the school so I probably could, that could be one of the resources that we list um and just yeah just think about some of the resources we can list and um if you could email them out to the group by what's a good day is Saturday too soon should I give how, it a week how are you defining resources um just different type of resources that people may be interested in related to social, um, racial um, equity. So I'm thinking like a resource for myself um, as a, a, our family being like a minority at Lafayette is the, um, the DEIA group that they have there. So I didn't initially know they had one, but I met another parent who told me about yeah. it. Yeah. And so I was able to find that. So um, I just think any resources that's relate that promotes equity, racial equity, social equity, um, like we could even put a resource yeah. to Iona. We can put the resource to um, Jackson Reed. Seabury. Yeah, uh, we can just kind of put any of those types of resources. But mm -hmm. so there could be different yeah, in the community. Could be there could be, uh, you know, like this type of group that you just mentioned for, for different schools. There could also be reading titles, mm -hmm. um, announcements by speakers. Yeah, mm -hmm. presumably we're all reading, right? Um, uh, and do, do you want things like an annotated bibliography or, or is that considered a resource? Yes, and I think um, like the books that Maurice reads, um, that those could be like some resources too. Um, you know, book recommendations. Absolutely. What about the Friendship Place Anti Racism training series that's free and online? Really yes, good. that's a good Definitely. one. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. So those are some of kind of the resources that we probably could all gather to put on the website. And it'll be like, you know, an ongoing thing. If, as we find out more, we can add them. Yeah, I think also there's uh, presentations that were made, uh, uh, forums like on uh, historic Ch Chevy Chase, uh, historic Chevy Chase uh, and Ward Revision did some redlining things uh, uh, online, you know, things like that that are uh, that people could get uh, linked to. We can have that also. Carl, it would be great if we could have links to the webinars that yeah, your exactly. group has done. They're all they're yeah. all online. You can just link them. Okay. And, yeah. No problem. Okay. So since we're like a group and we are busy, could could everybody just think of some resources and send them out to the group that we could add to the website? And yeah. yeah. By the twenty fourth, is that good? Oh. No, that's too soon. Are we sending no. them? <laughs> are we sending them to uh, the entire group, or is one person uh, co-leading? I think um, if we send it to the entire group, 
then we cannot we can just grab it. them from the group because they're already in the group. Uh, Lisa, is for someone in particular going to be updating the <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Website? Updating is so, somebody's got it. So if everyone sends it to the group, I can compile the list and then send it, send the links to Lisa to add to the website. Or yeah. So I think that's we can the easiest that. way to do it. Who will do the actual website work? The do you have a designated I do. ANC? I do it. I do it. I do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm the designated POC. <laughs> so if so, yeah, just send me everything at one time, um, because I'll just go in and make the updates at one time. That's the easiest way to do it. You mean like monthly or something? Because stuff will be obsolete after it happens. You know. Oh well, yeah. I don't want what I don't want stuff like that because okay. we we just don't have the ability to maintain it. But okay. permanent resources like the Lafayette DI, DEI, okay. um, also don't forget Council Office on Racial Equity, but not necessarily events okay. because we don't have, okay. yeah, the ability to maintain that. Yeah, it's just too much. Okay. Unless it's like a webinar that's taken place. <laughs> um, yeah, we can post a permanent video. Yeah, stuff like that for sure. Yeah. So for, for that, I, I will send Lisa the final list. Can I ask you a question? Is is uh, uh, is the ANC website the best place for this? I mean, would it be easier uh, uh, on you, Lisa, and, and maybe even easier for us to uh, to maintain over time for us to set up some sort of separate website where we could just, uh, where the ANC website would just be a link to our website, which we would have more control over and more responsibility for maintaining. But yeah, who would do it? In the recommendation, create a website to share information and resources. Yeah, I think yeah. Um, I, you probably, I mean, the biggest thing to that is the maintenance issue. I don't, I mean, we voted on that. So I guess the commissioners would, you know, have to honor the vote. Um, the biggest thing would be also, I would assume that the cost would be borne by the ANC in terms of the web server costs, which would, uh, I'm assuming be minimal, but that would have to go back before them for sure. Well, uh, you know, I, I know that uh, uh, recently uh, uh, Jim Feldman, uh, who is in Patagonia right now, so we can't we can't grab him and make him do stuff. Uh, but he set up this little website that uh, uh, some of us affordable housing advocates are linking to now the Neighbors for Housing Equity website. And. I think it was like minimal, minimal cost and, and fairly easy yeah. to, uh, to operate, uh, you know, to maintain. Uh, yeah. Maybe we should just start compiling uh, uh, the resources we think should go into it. And maybe in a week or so when he gets back, I can pick his brain a little bit and see if this is something that we can do in a way that uh, doesn't burden uh, ANC. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's definitely sites out there that are pretty pre-canned, uh, inexpensive. Um, you know, you just got to, I would just suggest whatever we do that we bring that back before the ANC um, because they, well, this is a new body. Um, <clears throat> I think they would definitely want to hear about it. And um, we want to be consistent across committees. So okay. if they pay for, say, this hosting, then they should pay for, you know, if another committee wants to do something similar. So regardless of what it is, we need, we're going to have to bring it back before then. But I agree, if we did something separate, that'll take a lot of the burden off the ANC. 
That that being said, um, it seems to me that we we don't want to be lost in the woods on this. Uh, and if we could find a way of leveraging uh, the fact that we are an organic element of the ANC, um, it would probably help us, right? I mean, we we want people to see what we're going to do. Then, yeah, I mean, a lot of the traffic is driven to, and we, we're very purposeful. So I will say this, we are very purposeful on driving traffic to our website. So that means even, you know, how we post stuff on the listserv, because people can grab stuff off the listserv or off of our Facebook page. Um, but the majority of the detailed documents are on the website. So, you know, we try to drive that traffic to the site. Mm -hmm. And if you have your separate site, you'll have to think about that. Nobody is going to be really going out there unless they're purposefully trying to look at it. Whereas when they get on our site, you know, they see at the top, here's race committee, here's this, com you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, uh, it's different. Yeah, it's fair so you enough. have to take that into consideration. That makes sense, yeah. That's fair. But if people I are going to keep... If people are going to come back to it and keep looking at it, I think it has to be updated. And that's not possible, Lisa? I mean... not. I wouldn't say it's not possible, but not with events. Like, if we're posting okay. stuff on there... Um, and I wouldn't put necessarily events, like say buried down in that, that website. Mm -hmm. If there is an event that we wanted to put, I would put that like on our, uh, we have another page where we post announcements, something like that. But I wouldn't like, you know, I would be very judicious okay. as, in terms of where I put certain things, but links to um resources that don't necessarily change like some of the stuff we've talked about yeah definitely okay. but if it's say like a book reading that we want people to attend the best place and where people actually look for stuff like that is under our home page under post because that's that's the first place people go to that's the per that's that's like the main driver right there so you'd want you'd want to put stuff there um, and those kind of stay until they move down in in sequence. But it wouldn't be something that we would like go in and put in, you know, two, three different times and update. So it's clear. It Almost like a calendar of events. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you're in charge of doing those? On the ANC website? Yes. Oh. Yes. No, it's not cool. <laughs> it's not cool. Not. It, it's You're not kidding? cool. And it's cool I for can us. Tell you, I'm, it, well, I can tell you I'm about to give a lot of this stuff up because, um, you know, we, we, we get slammed about everything we do. Mm -hmm. We can't post enough. We can't post it right. I mean, it it is truly my son was doing this um, during the summer. And this is literally almost full time, part time. Easily, you could spend 20 hours a week on this. And that's not even getting the website up to speed to where it needs to be. That's just maintaining documentation. Um, and honestly, I am you know, I will be announcing to the ANC in a community fairly soon that I, I'm not going to do it anymore. It's okay. just, it's too much. Yeah. So we really need this? like, huh? I would say, are, are you getting staff uh, uh, at a, at the ANC or is that? You know, we, we've, we've tried, but we've had some unfortunate hiccups. Um, which I will not discuss on the call because it's a staffing issue and, you know, we don't have to, and we're actually advised not to discuss personnel and legal matters in the public forum. So I won't discuss what the hiccups are, but it really put, it really sidelined our staffing push. Um, so 
the commission is pretty much at square one with that. And that's, uh, you know, that's part of my decision. We had um, some good steamway going in there and things got sidelined and uh, I cannot continue to be the ANC secretary. That's not going to happen. So we're going to okay. have to dial it, dial it back to where, <laughs> where it's, uh, or somebody else in the ANC can step up and do it. I mean, that's the other alternative. Someone else can do it. Yeah, right. but it, it cannot and will not be Lisa. <laughs> I mean, that, I, I totally don't blame you, but this sort of this recommendation kind of doesn't really make sense because it doesn't make sense for us to have a our own website that nobody's going to go to. And I don't know. Can we can we make a can we give some feedback on the you know viability and sustainability of some of these recommendations? Yeah, I think we need to talk really about viability too. About what? viability um mm. you know it, it, it because we are a small group we have to be realistic too yeah, and yeah so that's why i say for me your what you should post are resources that are not going anywhere like you know the council office of racial equity is there it's always going to be a resource to the community um probably lafayette DEI committee is probably always going to be there. Those are the things that I would concentrate on. I would concentrate on those things that are permanently established in the community that people don't know about. Um, like I didn't know about Lafayette's DEI, and as a parent, you know, to a black son there, I would have, you know, would have loved to have known about it if they had it at the time he was going there. So I think you could definitely gather up a bunch of resources that are just that permanent resources that already exist um, and put those on the website and they're fine. Yeah. And as you get additional ones, if you find additional ones that you really want up there, I mean, you know, whoever's taking over that role, I'm sure they'll post it, but I wouldn't get too wrapped up in like, you know, in terms of the viability sustainability issue, I would really focus on what can be a permanent resource to the community. Got it. I agree. Yep. So, um, so as I previously noted, could people send resources on the group by the 24th? And I will send Lisa one email with all the links that she can add. Does that work? Sure. Thank you. Um, I'm thinking maybe we could probably try and um, do the next two recommendations in the next seven minutes. So the fourth recommendation is foster relation, foster partnerships with other organizations. Um, I think there was some, we were trying to foster, Ron, at the last meeting, we talked about trying to foster a relationship with the cities, like raise, commit, like the raise, what is it? Office of Race and Equity. But I yeah. think we're talking about not necessarily governmental organizations. There's a bunch of organizations that are not related to the government um, that ne we know about, but I can't remember any of right now. And they would be compiled a list of them. Yeah, we have a big list, but um, I guess the question is too, what is which ones are the most pertinent? <laughs> Well, if you have a list, could you send them to us and we could yep. sure. you know, figure uh, out? Please, please be sure that HDCDC is on that list. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we want to be your partner. Yeah. Um, okay. So it looks like number four, I would say, is like completed and still ongoing because mm -hmm. this is an ongoing thing. So we have our list of, of partnerships and we just got to work on continuing those partnerships and then develop some with the others, right? Right, and example yeah. is our gathering at the Avenue, especially if we're gonna reach out uh, specifically to individuals of groups. Um, well, that's, that's an example right there. Okay, so I think I probably wanna stop here. We have five minutes. I just wanna tag Lisa. So as it relates to these recommendations, do we just kind of how we've been going through these and 
providing um, a status for each one? Do we then go to the ANC next meeting, present to them and yeah, submit yeah. a report yeah, and have it in writing? Okay. I wouldn't even do that, Corinthia. I would keep it light and just, if you know, whatever meeting you feel like you're ready to present, like, you know, okay. no rush on the 23rd. If you want to do November 13th when you have more information, just give a verbal report. That's fine. Now, I'd like to, before we get off the call, um, put up on the screen the spreadsheet I just assembled um, okay. with this. So Cal, Cal, I got a hard stop at 8, so I can so share. I can give you. Could you send yeah, it I'll out after sharing. the meeting, Cal? Could you send right. it out after the meeting? Well, let me just show it to you real quick. Um, Hi, Maria. It's like, it's a, it's a, <laughs> hey, Maria. Hi, how are you doing? How's everyone? Good. Hey, Maria. How are you? I'm fine, Lisa. How are you? Hi. Good. So, Glad to hear your voice. <laughs> so it says the host disabled screen sharing. That We need to make sure that doesn't happen on these calls. Um, whoever set this up. Um, so I don't know if you can make me share the screen, but if not, uh, it's a Google spreadsheet. Uh, I've made it, set it up so anybody who has the link can edit it. Um, so I will send that out in an email. Basically, it just has the recommendations listed down in the first column and then a, 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 a place to put the priority number and then a level or whatever and a status like done in development, uh, in progress, et cetera, ongoing. And then a to do item that, that what's the next step of what do we need to do? And then a by when column. And we can add more stuff to it if we want to, but it's sort of a central way to track all this and, and prioritize. Great. Okay. So I just want to be cognizant of everybody's time because we all are busy and I yep. got- I Yeah, got this is great. Eight. But um, so I guess the next steps is I'm going to send an email out about the November 2nd event, you guys, please chime in, make edits. Then we'll see each other on November 2nd, um, if you can make it. And then I believe our next meeting is going to be, um, I think it's the 20th. I have it wrote down. Oh, um, close, yes. So yeah. it looks like it's probably November 21st. 21st. Right. And yep. that's a couple of days before the holiday. So yeah. Um, yeah. I guess we can revisit that as well. Marilee, you want to say something before we I, I wouldn't be able to do that one, but yeah. Yeah, I think we probably could um we could probably chat on email about if we want to change from the 21st to another day. I don't know if we're allowed to do that, Lisa. Are we? Yeah, we can do okay. that. Yeah, we just need to give notice. That's fine. Okay, so we can we can also start an email chain on the group about proposing a new date. New so, date for the meeting? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it's the week, of Thanksgiving. the week it's of Thanksgiving. The week of Thanksgiving. Yes. It's the um twenty third. Yeah, oh, the twenty third. Yeah. What about yeah, that's the following bad. Tuesday, the twenty eighth? Yeah, so Thanksgiving is early this year, so yeah, it is. I was going to suggest you do it the previous. One, but yeah. 14. Well, could we do a doodle again? Yes. Yeah, we could do a doodle. I think if Anybody we're just picking, between, lead on that. We're just picking between a couple of Tuesdays, then I don't know that we need a doodle. We just need everybody to weigh in. You know, I, I can. Okay. Well, I can, she, I can run that. She, poll we only got like a minute. That. I can run yeah, that. Yeah, let's do a doodle. Poll. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. See y'all. Hey, uh, hi. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh. I've got a quick question. What kind of question? When are we going to go over the rest of the recommendations? At our next meeting. Okay. Does that work? I'm okay. sorry. I, I meant to yeah. say that. We'll, we'll revisit at the next meeting and Bye. send the link by the 24th. But in the, in the meantime, good. meantime people can be messing with the spreadsheet. Thank you, Corinthia. Okay. okay.